The six pin on the left lane for Johnson, who comes into this match with a 228 to 199 victory over Ed Bourdais. And then a victory over Wayne Zahn, 220 to 188. Chris, he has begun to rear a little bit at the line in his effort to get a little more speed. He's coming up on the shot, and uh, that's what's causing him to go high now on those balls. And now, Tita Semez. He was the tournament leader last week. He is the tournament leader today. from nearby Reds, New Jersey. Listen to his rooters in the background. 33-year-old father of two children. And if there was ever a hometown favorite, it's here. We asked Tita earlier how he feels about leading the second week in a row. I have a little more pressure on me this week than last week. But I think the pressure really helps me because it makes me concentrate on my game just a little bit more. Gets a 10-pin tap on the left lane. Tita Semez. Last week in Buffalo after a long winter trek from the West and the Midwest. He led the Buffalo tournament and was seated number one into the championship game, but he ran into red-hot Bob Strampy, and Strampy defeated him, much to the disappointment of Tita's New Jersey fans, the score was 246 to 201. Last week, you'll recall, he had a tremendously sore and swollen thumb. So in the second frame, it's a spare for Tita Samez. Bowling against Don Johnson, who has moved from third into the finals with two victories, one over Bordet and one over Wayne Zahn. He has a spare up. Leaving the 4-7. There is a difference, ladies and gentlemen, of $4,000, winning or losing. 8000 to the winner. That's a lot of scratch, Billy. Certainly is, Chris. And Sammy Baca, who won that check last year in the Ebonite Open, which was played at nearby Edison, uh, started brilliantly here and ran into a very disastrous second round, which uh, hurt his chances for defense of his title. Johnson now with two spares, trailing by two pins, going against Tita Semez, our final game. Next week, the $40,000 New Orleans Lions Club Open at Pelican Lanes in New Orleans. Billy, I'm going to be doing the Jacksonville Open on ABC. So I'll miss going to New Orleans with you. I'll miss the bowling and also Pete Fountain and Al Hurt. Look forward to seeing you back in Akron at the Firestone Tournament of Champions, Chris. Okay. So for Johnson, he is 38 through the second with a strike and the third. Now Samez, who opened with a strike, then with a spare. Runner-up last week in the Greater Buffalo Open at Depew, New York. If you're watching in color, you can see that Tita uh, is pretty much in green in that uh, shirt, Billy. <laughs> For the Garden State. Uses very little hook. He uh, delays it by letting it come off of his thumb and then uses great speed, too, to keep it right in that track. A big double by the tournament leader, Tita Samaz who now jumps out to a 12-pin lead as we'll be back with more of the final match between Don Johnson and Tito Semez into the finals against Tito Semez. Now is 12 pins 
behind Samez. Johnson has a strike up, now shooting in the fourth frame. And it's a double for Don Johnson. We mentioned New Orleans next week to be followed by the Firestone Tournament of Champions in Akron. And then the final stop on the PBA tour will be going to Mobile, Alabama, $40,000 Sertoma Open. And this will be our sixth year yet there. And Chairman Joe Teague has his national celebrity pro-am going the night of the finals, Billy. Right, uh, Chris, we're in the municipal auditorium there, and after the uh, final rounds of the telecast, we'll move out there for that big national celebrity pro-am. Ooh, the 6 seven, ten. confronting Don Johnson. And this is the final match worth 8,000 to the winner, 4,000 to the loser. Chris, uh, he's going to move over to his left, and he's right. going to try to angle that ball across the lane, touch the six on the right-hand side, slide it over into that seven. Ooh. Went all out, and the fans appreciate that. So for Don Johnson, it's an open in the fifth frame and increases Semez's lead to 17 pins, and Semez has a double working for him. victory today or next week in New Orleans to be eligible for the Tournament of Champions. That was a big shot for him, Chris, with the double going and Don just having an open. That uh, was really a pressure shot and uh, not only for Tita, but putting the pressure back on Don Johnson. Tita Samez leading Don Johnson, who had an open in the fifth. Dave Davis, last year's Bowler of the Year, named so by the Bowling Writers Association of America. He won six PBA tournaments. And on the right with uh, Dave, you see Chuck Pisano of the record call of Bergen County, who is president of the Bowlers Bowling Writers Association of America. And uh, they will be presenting that uh, victory trophy to Mr. Davis of Phoenix. Female Bowler of the Year was Mrs. Mildred Martarella of Rochester. Don Johnson. A spare in the sixth frame. Contemplating. Chris, if you've ever had tough duty in your life, I think the toughest duty is going up against a hometown favorite. You know you want to win, you know he wants to win, but you know the crowd is pulling for the, your opponent. And this really places a lot of pressure. His best finishes this winter were third at Toledo and fourth at Denver. A strike in the seventh frame. Here's our production folks. Doug Wilson and Mike Friedman are showing you the top 16. And now Tita Samez with four in a row. Five in a row. 
You know, the $8,000 first prize is impressive enough, but becoming eligible for that tournament of champions in two weeks, where you have an opportunity to win $25,000 if you can win the Firestone tournament. This is a big match. Right, Chris. Actually, uh, last place at the Firestone is 1,000, so winning here today is like 9,000, really, and the opportunity uh, to win 25 makes it uh, big doings. Bagger by Tita Samaz has increased his lead to 57 pins over Don Johnson, who has a strike up in the seventh, now shooting in the eighth. The eight pin for Johnson. Chris, we mentioned earlier we had three 300 games here this week. One was rolled by Jim Lewis of Albany. New York, uh, Mike Durbin from Costa Mesa, California, and recently voted uh, to the Hall of Fame, Bill Bunetta, climaxed here with a 300 game and made the finals. A spare in the eighth frame for Don Johnson, who earlier defeated Ed Bourdais and Wayne Zahn. You know, Billy, in western New Jersey, uh, there's considerable amount of hunting, and we had a lot of people ask us about American sportsmen. That color show on ABC following the NBA Game of the Week. And tomorrow, following uh, the Detroit-Boston game, it'll be Richard Corinna, quail hunting in Paraguay, Kurt Galley and Ben Hardesty, coho fishing in Michigan, and Governor Hughes of New Jersey and Forrest Evashevsky looking for mule deer in New Mexico. Four Eastern Town. Don Johnson, Tito Samez, one week ago, in the final game, the Greater Buffalo Open, met a red-hot Bob Strampy. And Tito was defeated in that game 246 to 201. He has applied the same pressure today, looking for seven strikes in a row. <laughs> Sometimes you say to yourself, just turn loose of it and it'll strike. In nine frames, eight strikes for Tita Samez. A spare coming in the second frame. A solid 10 pin. You know, last week Dame Fortune certainly didn't shine on his shoulders, uh, running into that solid eight, which broke his string. Of course, might not have made any difference anyway, as good as Bob Strampy was bowling. But today now he's had very loose off-pocket hits, and uh, they wound up as strikes. Leaving the one, two, four on the left lane. And the fans cheer, because they know their man has a picture in his pocket as good as... Well, I'll tell you, uh, it took a little while to walk down here, capacity crowd here, and I'm putting on my little earpiece, but uh, heck with it. Okay. <laughs> Tita, because that was a great victory. And uh, I know your New Jersey fans would love to give you another round of applause right now. <laughs> Tita, what happened in the second frame? Well, I thought I threw the ball good. I, I just... I don't know. I just didn't carry. That's all. You throw the ball very good. And as a result, here at the Ebonite Gold Cup Championship, there's $8,000. And Chairman of the Board of Ebonite of SW Industries, Mr. Dave Stapleton, is presenting you with something pretty awesome. Dave, a quick congratulation. Congratulations. Ebonite is delighted. I want to thank Ebonite for uh, the opportunity to bowl in this tournament and also the opportunity to go to Firestone. I'm so happy I could cry. Believe me. <laughs> We're happy for you. Congratulations, Tita. Nationwide air transportation for the professional bowlers tour arranged in promotional consideration. <laughs>